In the movie Speed, a bus is forced to jump an unfinished portion of highway to avoid setting off a bomb on the bus. This bomb is rigged to explode if the bus goes below 50 miles an hour. Of course, they make it, but we want to know if this could really happen. First, it's important to understand how projectiles fly through the air. All objects, regardless of their mass, fall at the same rate in a vacuum. Well, in my left hand I have a, a feather, in my right hand a hammer, and I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Additionally, an object's time falling is independent of its horizontal velocity. So no matter how fast the bus is traveling, should it launch horizontally, it will always fall some amount and fail to make it. So for the bus to make the jump, it must launch at some angle. Now this is a little bit of a cheat, as I should explain more. However, there is an equation in mechanics known as the range equation, which relates the initial velocity of a projectile to the distance it covers horizontally. If we examine the movie, we can find the speed the bus is traveling and the distance it is meant to cover. G is the acceleration due to gravity, which we know. So we can check to see how much of an incline we need to launch something that will just make it. We simply rearrange the equation, solving for the launch angle, plug in our values, and presto, we get approximately 5 degrees. That's not much of an angle. Now, there's no clear shot of the highway, so it's hard to say if there's actually an incline. But it seems possible there could be. Oddly, the bus seems to jump upwards at the last moment, an artifact of Hollywood tinkering. But it does seem we've cleared one hurdle. If we really believe the bus left the road going 68 miles an hour, and the jump adjusted for the length of the bus was a mere 50 feet, as long as there was a 5 degree incline, it seems possible the bus could have made the jump. However, a quick glimpse at the Speed DVD's special features makes it clear the landing would most likely wreck the bus. Not to mention, we haven't thought about wind resistance or the bus's rotation. Nonetheless, it's not entirely absurd. If you liked this video, please make your own. Tell your friends and enter to win the first annual film prize. Be sure to mind your video quotes. If you choose to repurpose someone else's copyrighted work, you should be sure it's fair use. I'm not your lawyer, but I suggest keeping it under two minutes or 10% of the original work, whichever shorter. And be sure the quotes are not for ambience, but for critical examination only. There is no clear test for fair use, so use common sense, do a Google search, or consult an attorney. Of course, you can always enter entirely original work. For official rules, visit www.film.com.